So we've talked about how to do a stacked single crochet to substitute for chaining at the beginning of a row when working double crochet stitches. But what I want to show you now is how to decrease at the beginning of the row still using that stacked single crochet. So let's get started. This right here is our very first stitch. So we want to start this the same way we would a stacked single crochet where we insert our hook and we're not chaining, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. Now the next step is to insert our hook into that vertical strand, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now instead of completing this, we're going to go right into our decrease. So you'll simply yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And now you have started the row by doing a stacked single crochet decrease. And then you continue along. I find it best to mark the first stitch because with a stacked single crochet, you'll have an extra V along the side that you will not work into. So you'll work into this one stitch you made. Let's see that double crochet two together again, but using the stacked single crochet method on the edge. So we will insert our hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through both of the loops on the hook. Insert our hook into the vertical strand and yarn over and pull up a loop. And now yarn over and go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Mark that stitch as the first stitch in the row. And now you have decreased doing a double crochet two together, but we're using that stacked single crochet at the beginning of the row so that we can avoid those chain stitches and have a really nice edge.